What's up guys, in this video we're going to be unboxing and doing it on the feet of the new Jordan 1 Low SE in the Craft Obsidian colorway. These sneakers were released November 8th for a retail price of $120 and they're currently reselling for around $140 to $150 depending on size. Having said that, let's get right into it. Alright guys, these sneakers do come in that special triple black Jordan box. We have been seeing this box on certain SE models of the Jordan 1 Low and Jordan 1 Mid, but let's go ahead and check out the size sticker. Here you'll see the official name as the Air Jordan 1 Low SE Craft in the Obsidian slash Asian Slate colorway and we are size 10 and a half USA. So let's go ahead and open these right up. We get some all white tissue paper and bam here they are guys the Jordan 1 Low in the Obsidian colorway. These sneakers do come with an extra pair of white shoelaces. But let's go ahead and check out all the details that this sneaker does have to offer starting with the midsole. We have your typical Jordan 1 midsole in the sale color and you can go ahead and see that outsole creeping in and there it is that beautiful gray outsole very attractive looking that's for sure when it comes to the uppers we have quite a bit going on so we're gonna go ahead and start at the front of the sneaker and work our way back surrounding the toe box we have a nice blue color and a rubbery material it does feel very good when touching it on the quarter panel we have that same color but this time in a rough suede material we have the same blue suede surrounding the entire ankle area and when it comes to the swoosh it is also also in the color blue however it is in a patent leather material we do also have some white stitching at the very center of it surrounding the swish we do have that obsidian color and what seems to be a knitted type material we have that same obsidian color here at the bottom shoelace holes except this part is in that rubber material not the knitted. On the upper parts of the shoelace holes, we do have some 3M, so this is glow in the dark. We have some more of that 3M here at the bottom heel area. Moving on to the back of the sneaker, you will notice the Air Jordan Wings logo embroidered into the 3M. Just above that, we do have a square patch of some more 3M. All of that 3M does reflect. Moving on to the inside of the sneaker, it is identical to the outside of the shoe, so there's nothing new to say about the inside. We'll go ahead and move straight on into the toe box. Here you'll see that beautiful obsidian in color once again but this time in a patent leather material moving on to the shoelaces these do come pre-installed with some blue shoelaces to match some of that blue throughout the entire sneaker the tongue is blue in a knitted material at the very top you will see a jump man embroidered in gray you also see some exposed foam on the tongue as well as on the ankle area the sock liner is in the obsidian color and the insole is blue with a white jump man and size sticker the inside of the tongue is also in the obsidian color and these sneakers were manufactured from April 12th through July 2nd but that basically sums up all the details that this sneaker does have to offer now we're gonna go ahead and put both shoes side by side to give you guys different angles and lighting so you guys know exactly what you're getting if you do decide to go ahead and purchase these sneakers all right guys here they are the Jordan 1 low in the craft obsidian colorway all this footage is completely unedited so what you see is what you'll get the colors on the sneaker are not too crazy but the color blocking and materials definitely are. For those reasons, these sneakers will stand out and if that's what you're looking for, these sneakers may be for you. But let's go ahead and put them on feet and see what they really look like when wearing them. Alright guys, my final thoughts are that overall these are a great pair of sneakers. The colorway and color blocking are very attractive. The materials used on these sneakers are outstanding. The 3M is just an added bonus. So overall, I definitely recommend these to anyone looking to buy a solid pair of Jordan 1 Lows. But having said that, if you enjoyed the video, please smash the like button. It really does help out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.